Oh, not again. <laughs> I can recognize that snore anywhere. Yep. <laughs> hey, alfalfa! Oh, that didn't work. You know what? I think I need your help. Can you say, hey, alfalfa, on the count of three? In one, two, three. Hey, alfalfa! Oh, oh, oh I'm here, Mom. Oh, I'm on my walk the dog right now, Dad. I am. Oh. oh, hi, Pastor Tim. Um, I must have fallen asleep. Yeah, Alfalfa, it looks like you fell asleep right here on the Glendale stage. Uh, tell me what's going on. Well, I wanted to come here to hear the great stories about Jesus and praise God with all the kids today. Yeah. But I just couldn't stay awake and I think I might have fallen asleep. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I hate when I lose sleep too. Why did you fall asleep though? Well, it's because I didn't sleep very good last night at all. Oh, did you start kicking your blankets off and your feet get cold? No. Actually, I couldn't fall asleep. I was up all night, kind of worried, and honestly, a little bit scared. Oh, that's not good. It's never fun to be worried or to be scared. No. Uh, why were you feeling that way, Alfalfa? Well, it's just with all this stuff going on right now. I mean, I've been a little worried. We weren't able to get all of our usual groceries at the store. And now I'm worried I'm not going to have enough of my favorite food or snacks. Yeah. And um, I know my parents have been a little worried about their jobs. I mean, what happens if they don't have a job anymore? And it, it just seems like all over the TV, the news is just a little scary right now. That's true. You know, Alfalfa... Uh, we can be a little worried and be a little fearful when we don't know what's going to happen yeah. and we don't know what's going to happen next. That's very natural to feel. Yeah, and now I can't even see my bestest friends at school. I mean, what if my friends get sick or what if they forget who I am? <laughs> oh, Alfalfa, no one could ever forget you. And I know I bet your best friends at school are missing you right now. But you know what? No, the cool thing that we can think about is that the Bible tells us that God is with us. Oh. And we don't have to be scared and we don't have to worry at all because we know He cares about us. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. And even if you're feeling afraid or you're feeling worried, yeah. God wants you to have courage. He does? <laughs> yeah, He does. Wow. In fact, there's a book of the Bible called Joshua. And it's a really cool book because this dude named Joshua. Joshua. Yeah, he just became the leader of the Israelites right after Moses went on to be with the Lord in heaven. And Joshua probably was really scared because he wasn't Moses and Moses did all these really cool and powerful things. And uh, it was his job to lead the Israelites into this promised land that even Moses didn't get to do. But you know what? There were like giants there what? and he was new in charge. And they even had to cross another river that was flooded and he probably didn't know how he was going to get across. That sounds scary. <laughs> and I don't think I would want to cross a big river either and go into a new place if I wasn't sure it was safe. And oh man. Well, the cool thing is, is that God reminded Joshua that he was with them. He said, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid because I am with you. And what's so cool about that is, you know, God knew that sometimes we were going to face scary things and there were going to be things that worry us that we didn't know how it was going to turn out. But God also knows that he's with us and he wants the best for us. And he wants us to be strong and courageous when we face things like that. Well, I guess I need to remember that God is the creator of everything and mm -hmm. he's in control and, and he doesn't want me to be afraid. And that makes me a lot less worried. Well, that's really good, Alfalfa. God wants you to trust in him in the things that we get excited and happy about, but also in the things that worry us and, and cause us to fear a little bit. He really just wants you to talk to him. Talk to him? <laughs> how do I do that? Yeah, well, it's really, really easy. You know how you're talking to me right now, Alfalfa? Yeah. Well, you can talk to God the exact same way. He cares so much for you and he just wants to have a relationship with you. And when you're feeling worried and fearful and not sure what's gonna happen, you can talk to God and tell him exactly how you feel. 
And God will help give you peace on the inside and he'll remind you that he's with you through whatever hard thing you might face. Thanks, Pastor Tim. I I really do feel a lot better now. And you know what? I think I'm going to go take a restful nap knowing that God is always with me. But first, oh, Pastor Tim. Yes, Alfalfa. I'm so good at sleeping, I can do it with my eyes closed. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good one, Alfalfa. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much for helping me. I'm going to go take a nap now, and I'll see you later. Bye, friends. Hey, we'll see you, Alfalfa. Bye, Pastor Tim. Later. Bye-bye. You know, sometimes there's a lot of things that can make us scared and fearful in life, too. But I want you to know that God loves you so very much, and He cares about all the things you're going through. And He wants you to talk to Him, just like we talked about how Alfalfa can talk to Him. And you can tell God how you feel, and you can ask God for help to be strong and courageous like Joshua. And you know what? God will hear you and he will help give you that courage on the inside. And we can trust in him for how things are going to turn out. I hope you have an amazing week this week, and I want you to know that we here at Dream City Kids are praying for you every day so that you can be like Joshua, strong and courageous.